Yeah, Mark and Tom, over the weekend, Governor Jay Inslee tweeted his office is tracking reports of Iranian Americans being held at the Canadian border. Following this, a woman shared this exact experience while at the border with her husband and two children. She says they were unfairly detained after waiting there for five hours. Our friends in Canada, they always uh, tease us that you left us. Why you're uh, moving? Why did you move to U.S.? And we said we feel more freedom there. We were anxious, of course. And imagine I'm an Iranian. I'm, uh, and besides this incident, uh, we, I was, I'm worried for my family and my like uh, friends that I have in Iran with the, all the news I've heard. And all of a sudden, when you pass the border and they held you for five hours. This is unacceptable. She shared her story today during a rally held by Washington Representative Pramila Jayapal and local immigrant rights groups. After this, Governor Inslee released a statement calling the reports out of the border crossing at Blaine deeply alarming. Now he went on to say this is wrong and rife with constitutional and moral problems. No one should be treated differently due to where they come from, how they look or what language they speak. He adds he will continue to stand up for the rights and protections of of all Washingtonians. Now, Spokane's Intermodal Center has become known for the number of Border Patrol arrests after reopening their office there. Special Operations Supervisor Bill Kingsford confirmed agents have made seven arrests since December 1st, and none of which were Iranian Americans. He says it does not track detentions, only arrests. Now, he adds while patrols have not increased, Border Patrol agents are being more cautious due to the recent airstrikes in Iraq. He says that means agents are being extra vigilant. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.